What's up everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Once again, it is late at night and I wanna make a YouTube video and everyone's asleep. It's almost 11 at night and I am hungry for brownies. I really want brownies. I'm starving. Also, you can probably already see it. I got a new ring light. I'm really excited. Good purchase, good purchase, goodbye. So yeah, I need a new video and I'm hungry. So might as well kill two birds with one stone. All right, so what do we need? So we're making two boxes, so I need double the ingredients. It says vegetable oil, but we just have this, so I'm just gonna use this. When there's a pandemic, am I right? It's literally 11 at night, and I'm making brownies. But you know, that's what happens when you get hungry, and your parents trust you enough to use the oven. Of water. I thought it would be like a lot more. It's only that much. I feel like that's wrong, but um, I'm not gonna fight it. We don't have enough. <gasps> okay, so it says we need two thirds of this, but um, we kind of only have like a half of a cup. Um, so we're just gonna put in a half of a cup, and hopefully this is like a light hack. We're gonna pretend like that didn't happen. And two eggs. Shh, people are sleeping. Make sure you got a one. Mixy mixer. I hate that it gets so thick. It's so annoying. So I was reading this and it says that you're supposed to put the water, oil, and eggs in a different bowl and then mix it and then add it. But um, why waste an extra bowl when it's all going in the same bowl? Do most people separate the dry and wet ingredients? Or are you normal? Or are you not normal? Uh, that's one of the many questions life has yet to answer. Just like if you're drinking an alcoholic beverage with 5% alcohol, and you have a second, is that 10% alcohol? Apparently, no. <laughs> Looks scrumptious. I just made us so much noise getting us out of the cabinet. It's insane. Now the last time I made brownies, I found the vegetable oil. <laughs> it's fine. I'll just put a little for good luck. Sounds about right. Oh, uh, now it's like diarrhea. Now it's wet. Now I was gonna say. Last time I made brownies, I forgot this, which is a pivotal part of getting them out. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Delicious. I'm getting this everywhere. Oh, that looks so good. My wig though actually it looks like amazing. Mmm. Wait, that's so good. It has chocolate chips in it. My night is made. There's chocolate everywhere. Not even exaggerating. What size is this? Because apparently it's different sizes for different times cooked, and I can't tell. I'm gonna say it probably takes about 40 to 45 minutes. Why is that such a long? That's so stupid. I wanna eat this now. 310, where do they have it set on? 325, all right, so it's almost there. So, how's everyone's day? <laughs> I really hope the audio is fine because I feel like I'm talking very soft because everyone is sleeping. I guess we'll see tomorrow when I edit. <laughs> all right, so that's gonna be in for 45 minutes, but I'm hungry. Okay, like I'm actually hungry. Like, I'm making a grilled cheese. I feel like this video is like a two for now. I know I already made a grilled cheese on this channel. That was a failure because it burned. So um, that's not gonna happen this time because I'm a master at grilled cheese. I can make superb grilled cheeses, uncomparable grilled cheeses. Let me just say, I love having this ring light because it comes with a tripod. It's so convenient. I'm a 
A plus. Amazon, great job. Guys, this is literally just like a typical, what's today? Tuesday. Making grilled cheeses at midnight, kind of a daily thing. Not really. I make grilled cheeses too often than I should. It's just like the easiest thing to make and like little to no effort. All the ingredients are there, bread and cheese and butter. And like, if your house doesn't have that, then like what? Why does everything in this kitchen make noise? Oh my. Now I'm just waiting for two things to cook. Like what, should I make a pot of coffee while I'm at it? No. Ah, I thought that was blood, it's chocolate. That hurt though, oh my God. Y'all like the kitchen? It's new. Do I flip it? Should I? It's they'll go everywhere. There's literally nothing to do with that's cooking and that's cooking. I'll check back in when the grilled cheese is done. What a flip. What a flip. I just checked the fridge. There's no sriracha. What am I supposed to eat this with? What can I eat it with? Ketchup is fine, it's not gross. I feel like a grilled cheese and ranch wouldn't go together. And at the same time, everything tastes better with ranch. I don't know. I'll probably just use ketchup. But we need more sriracha. End of discussion. Sriracha is the best one. The best condiment. And people can fight me on that because it's true. Sriracha and ranch, top tier. You know, not bad, I'll take it. It's not burnt, it's crispy. Johanna, this is a rematch, a virtual rematch. Send back your best grilled cheese. This is mine. You know, you wait till Midnight to film, and everything makes a stupid noise. Always cut diagonally. Truly is not the same. Should be sriracha. But you deal with what you have. All right, I'm gonna go enjoy that grilled cheese and wait for the 26 more minutes for the brownies. Mm -hmm. No, that looks good. Except now the downside is that it's got a cool. It was just in a 325 degree oven. So um, I'm gonna let that rest and I'll see it in the morning. Now the fun thing is I live with four other people. So we'll see who digs in first. So that's all I have for you guys today. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment, and share with your friends and family. It really makes me happy. And I'll see you next week. Bye. <laughs> Who ate all the brownies?